YouTube drift. Oh, no. Rival video. Oh. Oh, oh. and welcome to the queue to get to the Nürburgring's Tankstell petrol station but we're not interested in cars arriving at the petrol station because we're going to be filming the cars are leaving this is the day after the massive car fry tag spirits are high weather is amazing and there's GT3s everywhere so you've got a few uh, British cars showing the British attitude to track days. The 370Z Nismo, that Honda which I don't recognise, GR86 with the E36 in front and the roadside just next door which features cars such as a Honda NSX. So you've got a car park next door to the tank cell, which is where a lot of cars will rest for a bit and then send it out afterwards. Going by the crowd of people, this is the junction to situate ourselves at for now. But over the road you can see a clue as to what people's intentions are. Because this videographer has a sign, YouTube Drift. Is he going to do a YouTube Drift? The E53? No, didn't do a YouTube Drift. Personally I'm excited for the Camaro. and here's the Evo 6 again on an E92 3 Series. Bit of a wiggle with the police around. <laughs> again oh they're waving they were waving at the videographers and camping they're camping oh maybe they're telling everyone to move back and then they'll be happy and go he looks stern it's probably the one from earlier you saw the behavior of the drivers hello hello and hello or oh, in german ah oh, now this is a car i saw yesterday and i wanted to hear i believe it's a cammed z06 listen to this wasn't here we'd hear more but our next visitor is a Dallara or was it a Dallara I'm not sure looks incredible on the roads part of the Sassin crew going past the police so all the car spotters have given up now because the police have stayed so what's going to happen now is the police going to get up because the car spotters have gone but we're going to move further down the road whilst the police are camping there uh, to another junction because there's so many of them he loves me oh there's another liar look hello he was lying oh the yellow Audi didn't let the yellow Audi out Seatbelts. Ah, look, he's replicated a GT4 RS, hence the number plate that says GT4 RS. Oh, look! R33 Skyline GTST, bit of a JDM livery on its bonnet.
this weekend though, the Alfa Romeo 147 GTA. Love that. And here is an E91. There you go. But our little plan has worked because we're back at the junction and so are all the car spotters and the police are gone. It works. Oh, I was wondering what they were filming. A green 992 GT3 RS. Let's go through the tunnel. Green with bronze wheels. Yeah, we're back. Oh no. <laughs> It's a game of cat and mouse. They're telling people not to do what they're doing. Uh, as soon as we get here, always the way. Looks like they're parking up again. Oh no. Oh, I wonder how long they had without the police there. They're giving up now. It's Shmi 150. He's going to do the fattest send we've ever seen. Big right Smokey right in front, because I want a viral video. You know I've got the ninth stage traction control. Turn it on. Yeah. Go full send. Full send. It's going to happen. I'm replaced. <laughs> Comfort mode. Comfort mode. Oh. Stick mode. Yeah. See ya. There goes Tim in the Comfort Mode AMG GT Black Series. But as a Corvette and an Evo travel pass back into the fuel station, we have a Ferrari 458. Haven't seen a lot of Ferraris on this trip so far. So instead, we're going to see what the nightlife is Whoa! like. Oh, oh, 32 GTR. Out of nowhere. Tunnel sounds. Tunnel sounds. Tunnel sounds. Robert. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, we were just moving the car into the car park because now it's uh, got dark and we're back to see what happens after a little bit of a wait. This BMW is stuck in the mud. We thought he was revving, but no, it's him trying to get unstuck. <laughs> Reversing out should be easier. Maybe if you had more people helping rather than filming. Oh, 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 yeah. Right, you can't go back much more because there was an tree. There we go. Um, he's just crabbing. He's still going. He's moving a little bit. Only a tiny bit. If he doesn't make this, he's going to be stuck in the pool. He's done it. <laughs> he's now stuck. The thing is, rear wheel drive cars can go backwards easier than they can go forwards because it's pulling the car out rather than pushing the entire car out. I think he's just going to send it through this little muddy patch. No, well, he's going back even further to get a good run up, but we don't want him to get stuck in that corner, which I think he's doing. This can only go well. Oh, here we go. Yes, he's sending it. applause with one hand. Oh, what's this police car doing? It's being a supercharged Camaro. It's like, oh, this is the old 32 again! Oh! The police Camaro is back. So now that the M4 is safely and soundly back onto the roads, we're going to go to the boulevard where it's better lighting. Goodbye, fuel station. Goodbye, my love. Or 
it's a very different atmosphere to last night because there's no one here. There's no one there, and there's no one there. However, the only lit part of this location is the car park with a yellow Evo on the trailer. Oh, but at least this roundabout is fully open for business because it wasn't yesterday. There's the pair of Focus RS Mark IIs. They've been going around all weekend. Decent. Coming back around. Someone's. Whoa! It's a Vox. What is it? An Astro convertible doing skids. Oh my god, a TVRC 350. Finally seen one this trip. Oh. Was the TVR. But I think from the Nürburgring and the Boulevard and the tank set the petrol station, I think that was pretty much that. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Another one from Car Freitag. There's links and details to Adam Seafest down in the video description. That's in the UK at Mallory Park Circuit in the middle of the country. So I look forward to seeing you all there. It's coming up very fast. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching.